This episode of Saving the Ocean is about Kevin O'Farrell. He approached me in a train station and I had no clue who I was talking to. Soon I found out that he was the designer and curator of many marine exhibitions and reached out to millions of people raising the blue awareness within them. He was also part of the team that released the whale Kiko that played Free Willy in the movie and he also organized the rescue of Humphrey the humpback whale. Meet Kevin O'Farrell. When I was a little child, um, my family used to take me down to the beach and uh, that was my favorite place in the world and it still is. It still is. And actually we live in a place called Mermaid Isle now, which is right on the water in Kerry and we have our own island there and we have seals that come and the Irish mermaid story is based on seals, the selkies. It's a seal that, a special seal that removes her cloak, her sea cloak, and becomes a woman. And uh, so that's where we live now. So we live Great. right right there. We live in a uh, uh, marine environment with the seals around us and all that stuff. Awesome. What got you started as becoming an environmentalist? Well, basically anything that's out of harmony is something that offends me. Like, like Lucy was very involved in plastics in the sea and there are actually whole islands of plastic floating around the Pacific right now. And where we live, anything that washes in, it, I just pick up automatically and anything along the sea. But anything that throws, that's obviously throwing the harmony of the sea or any of uh, the land too, out of balance, uh, I'm, I'm very upset about and I try to do something about. And my main tool is education. So, so if you can educate people, and get them excited by things, then they'll do something about it, you know. Yeah. The best education is tiny little children. The little, t the younger they are, the better to meet things, uh, you know, and touch things and, and just experience it all. I was designing a children's museum and I had an exhibit that I called Life Under a Rock. And we actually made rocks that you, the kids could flip up and you can see that there's an entire world with kings and queens and, and politicians and all kinds of little creatures down there under every rock. So, you know, it's just the idea of communicating that to children, you know. And, and that's it. I love doing children's museums because uh, they're the future. And they're not so jaundiced by people and everything else. And they're going to be the ones making the future decisions. Yeah, and, and, and they're open to everything, so they, they want to learn. Like, the whole idea, student, comes from the Latin studio, meaning eager to learn. And, and when you get them really young like that, they want to learn. They're so excited that like, everything's like, woo! You know? Kevin told me so many interesting and entertaining stories that it would be a shame to put them all into five minutes. So I decided to create the first Blue Awareness podcast that you can find in the link down below this video. I hope you liked the video. If you do, share it with your friends and see you next Friday. I, I would definitely support not going to the sea and capturing any kind of marine mammal and putting it into the aquarium. But there are a lot of marine mammals that have a problem in one way or another. That octopus, I mean, knew me personally, so I could almost have conversations. When I walked by, the octopus responded, reached its tentacles out of the water, we caressed and so forth. It was remarkable. But an octopus is like, they have an intelligence like a horse or, you know, like a lot of people. Uh, I, I was involved with the, uh, the Free Willy Foundation to release Kiko, the whale that was in the movie Free Willy. And then it swam over to Norway, which is famous for eating or murdering uh, marine mammals like men.